Hello and welcome back to episode two of Emote and Mind Squish. We're going to be, we're still out here, we haven't moved from where we were. We're going to go ahead and dig into the side of this hill here and uh, maybe grab some of that coal while we're at it. And at least start off with a, some kind of a setup in here. We'll do a mine, probably come out on the side down there, hopefully not around that lava. And we'll just start up doing some mining. So we'll go ahead and start that right now. We'll be getting some better tools here pretty shortly. Although we do need some trees, some wood. Uh, that's going to be our better bet first. Let's go gather some of the trees. Now, as I said last time, we're going to need to do... I forgot to check time of day. Oh, looks like it's wearing on. Um, ooh, good. We even have mushrooms, so we have lots of, lots of resources around here. But in order to use the wooden axe, um, as a normal wooden axe, we have to do the toggle edit wand command. And we'll go ahead and do that so that way we can go ahead and use this properly. Let's go ahead and just grab a few blocks of wood here. And one of the things I realized we didn't do last time uh, that I would meant to do was to show you some of the commands. And we'll go ahead and do that once we get into this new location. We'll uh, kind of get our home set up. We'll use the home com set home command, and we'll also use the um, help command to get back to main spawn, so that you can see how to get around a little bit more quickly. Um, come back here in just a minute. Let's hop back up. Let's go ahead and just see if we can get a sampling out of these guys real quick. with sampling zero is one so far I usually get a good handful or so but for some reason it's been a little sparser this time uh, I do believe in replanting whenever possible um, unless there's you know for some reason that I'm gonna deforest the area but even then I believe in gathering the saplings so you have it for later you can always plant some more and of course you can use them to start your own tree farm, so we'll do that as well. Uh, so the goals for this episode are to get us at least started on our mine up over here, and that's enough wood to get us going. We'll pick up some more as we go along, and uh, we also want to go over some of the commands. Let's see. I'm just gonna go right in here. I want to go grab some of that coal, but first let's just get inside the door. Can I get it? Hello, Mr. Pig. How are you doing food wise? I'll let you live for right now. I'm just going to get in here far enough to carve out a little bit of a space for ourselves and we'll set up our crafting table, make some stone tools so we can start doing this a little bit more efficiently and make a little bit home here. Once we clear out enough, we'll start using some of those commands I talked about. There we go. Well, that seems like that's probably the perfect spot to stop then. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just throw that down. Let's go ahead and make um, we start off with that. Let's see. I'm just going to probably need to. Let's go ahead and we can always go through those fairly quickly. I need a sword here pretty soon, but not quite yet. So let's pick that up. Before it turns night, let's go ahead and pick up this coal. Just so we have it. Get a few torches going. And, ooh. Alright, so we're digging right into there, so we won't have too far to go. That's alright. I'm thinking we'd have a little balcony looking out over this. It's kind of pretty. Maybe even a wraparound balcony that goes out over here. But in order to do all of that, we are going to need to get ourselves set up in here. So let's do. Um, I think that's good for right now. Let's set that up. Let's go ahead and. I don't know, I think we're just going to do all these right now. And we're going to go ahead and get some doors while we're at it. I do like that under 1.8 we get three doors out of that combination instead of just the one. It does 
make it kind of convenient. All right. Well, I don't have to do this here, but I'm going to anyway. So that's exactly what I want. Oops, there we go. That's better. So we get a little bit of light in here. We've got a door to keep us safe. And let's expand this up. I shouldn't um, mine straight up like that, but uh, it's usually fairly safe, I guess. And this, I, I assume it was pretty safe when I down by the lava levels, but you know, there's lava, lava right out that way, so not always the smartest thing. That's all right. So we're just going to open this up a little bit. If we can, we'll try to get a bed set together. And the idea will be that we're going to open up this space in here, make it a relatively nice space to live. We'll start a mine shaft, and um, ideally, we'll open up the mine shaft to, open, to uh, come out on the side down by that river down there if we can without coming out underneath the lava, or we'll create a little block for the lava to make sure we can come out safely. So right now, we're just going to kind of open this up. Probably going to want this to be at least you know, one more wide. We don't want to go quite that far, do we? Fill that in. Um, oh, that's the other thing. I'll show you while we're at it. I haven't really played around with the new skins yet. They added in this uh, extra layer, and I'm actually got my winter coat on now. I decided to go ahead and create that. And then, uh, let's see. There we go. I'm sure I don't have a cape, so I don't have to worry about that. But um, let's just take those. And now I should be... Yep. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So you can have a, a coat. My hat, I left my hat on because I prefer to have that on. Um, so that's kind of fun. So while we're working in here, it's getting kind of warm. I don't need all that coat on. I'm going to go ahead and open it up a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and use, move that torch over. So it's kind of a fun little thing to be able to add an extra layer of armor, coating, skin, whatever you want to do to that. So I decided to try it and take advantage of that. We'll probably play around with that a little bit as we go along. It's kind of a fun little thing. All right. So I think we're doing pretty well there. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll do a stairway up um, and then we'll do uh, a pit or a, um, a straight shaft down for a, um, a mine. And I don't mean a, a, I'm not going to dig straight down. I'll dig a two wide shaft and then we'll add some water in the bottom to be able to make sure that we can drop down without dying. That's a little narrow than I thought here. It's just... Okay, that's nice. Might add another door here. Let's see what happens. But for right now, we're just going to pack that up. So I think this is pretty good. It's a good start. Get it lit up well enough. Let's go ahead and do a uh, stone sword. So we'll get that going here in a minute. Move these guys around. All right. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get at least. Oops. If I can get my fingers to work properly. Let's get one chest right now. We'll see about the rest later. And just to get us started. And of course we're going to need... There we go. I wonder what happened. It couldn't seem to open the crack either. And we'll... Uh, get two furnaces going. I don't need coal to power them right now, but that's okay. So we'll throw these over here for right now. Something very simple. Let's go ahead and eat. Let's try and find some sky to look at. As I mentioned earlier, the 1.8 seems to have a, a uh, glitch where if you're pointing at a wall and you try to eat, it acts like you're eating, but you don't actually eat. So if you point out there in the sky, that seems to, to help things quite a bit. All right, let's just go ahead and save this off. The stuff that we want to use for food. We got a fair amount of cobblestone. We'll take the stack and move that up there. Hopefully, we'll need that right now. And those. All right. So what we're going to do is, um, this is going to be right here. Uh, I'll just do it right here. I'm going to 
do one of our commands here and uh, see if I remember if the, the command correctly, but I believe it's slash set home. And slash is important, says it's a command. Uh, I hit T to open up my chat window down here. And there I am. Now my home is set to here. Now I can do spawn. And that will take me to this world spawn. Hopefully not something that's too terrible. I don't see anybody around yet. Ooh, somebody's patched that up. Let's see. Let's, uh, the grinder. Oh, <laughs> uh, hmm. I have to take a look. I'm not sure that's. We don't allow mob grinders here, so I'll we'll double check and make sure that's legit. And I'll go back and take a look at that. I don't see There's Sean's tower. Some new stuff up here. Oh yeah, Sean's adding onto his tower up there. That's great. Some new construction. Who's that over there? And uh, to the mines. Great. So you can use spawn to get over here. Now the other thing you can do is you can do H A L P slash H A L P not help but help and that will take you back to main spawn and there we are this is back where we start everything and then we can kind of go from here now this is a, the, again this takes us back to Persephone we were in the exploration world which is where we do all our mining and whatnot now we're back in our home world so if we wanted to be able to uh, tour around we could do that uh, they can be on different times although right now they're both nighttime. Um, but the other thing I'm going to show right now, we'll actually show it again at the end of the, the video, uh, but we each person has what's called a void plot. So if you do slash void, it'll take you over to a void plot. Now obviously, like I said, I've been playing on the server for a while. And so this is all my stuff from previous. We've got a second floor up here, which has nothing except our little tree. And I can't remember if there's anything in here. Um, oh, I started this series once before, but uh, I have actually had to stop it and restart so this is from my first go around uh, we'll put this off to the side we won't use that I'll move that stuff downstairs and we're going to start off by putting a chest probably right here and this is where we'll keep our stuff this is a long-term storage it's a small area there's nothing else out here you can see I just got bounced back from the edge uh, I have a tree in the middle we'll see if we leave that we'll do something with this void plot but this is a, a place that's just mine nobody else can get here so it's a very safe place. It's a place where I can keep all my things long term. Uh, you can see I've, over time I've accumulated pretty much all the bits and pieces I need. You even have a brewing stand over there. But we won't be using those for this go around. Um, so now to get back to where we were, I just do, if I can type, type home, and voila. Then we are back at our new home. So that's how you can kind of bounce around to the different places. Now, what I was going to see, what I'm what am I envisioning? Let me, let me do this actually. Let's see. Just to get so I can picture this a little bit better. No, didn't mean to do it. There we go. Uh, I'm thinking come over here if we do steps like that. And Let's see. And then, um, let's go ahead and grab some of that other cobblestone here. And uh, I think what we'll end up doing is then coming back up right there. Or more precisely. Uh, let's see. And so we'll. Take out this section here and go back upstairs. Oops, a little bit of lag there, obviously. So the idea being that we're going to add a second floor. We'll do it up this way, just to be safe. So by the way, make sure there's no gravel or anything going to come down on my head. And uh, we just keep going up this way and make the second floor up here someplace. So that's the thought. We'll make it nicer as we go along here just to get a sense of where things go I am not the world's greatest builder I have fun and I, I enjoy building but um, not the most creative guy that way and that's okay all right then I think this will actually be maybe where our second floor is we'll go ahead and make that three tall when we're ready for it and that'll be a four all right so I'll kind of just get a sense of where it's going to go take these guys out real quick all right 
let's see how much I want to um, Yeah, we'll come back here. We'll pick out some of this, make it a little nicer. Alright, I'm going to need more picks very quickly unless I find some iron. Alright, so we're going to get these things here. So that being done, I'm actually going to make the um, mine shaft right here. I'm going to dig it too wide so I'm not digging a death hole. Hopefully it won't make you guys particularly car sick, or uh, motion sick, excuse me, since we're not a car, obviously. And we'll want to do, let's see, let's go ahead and just keep things from getting too dark. Now, one of the things that's bad about choosing this high of a location is that our, we're up at 81. We've got quite a ways to go to get down to bedrock, and that's okay. Or even get down to good. Um, oh, I just realized I didn't make any ladders to get back up. That was not the right way to do that. Well, let's see. I guess we can just kind of do it while we're down here. A bit of a waste of wood, but that's all right. So where did I put the torch on that side? That's okay. Let's go ahead and take this out. Put that, and I'll put the torch in there in just a minute. But first of all, we're just going to go ahead and get a new crafting table. We'll need those for a few minutes, um, and we will. Let's see. I don't want to do quite that much. That'll be good. Hopefully, that'll give me enough to to get started. Mm, not great. But it will get us Oh, wrong side. Let's take that take that back down. Don't quite get us to the top. Alright, well we're gonna head back down here. We'll use this crafting table when we're when we're uh, finished down there at the bottom. But for right now, we'll just get the ladders we need to finish this. I'm hoping that by now, yes, it's daylight. Good. All right, let's um, let's go see how we're doing in here. See if we have any. Oh, hey, we got a beautiful little flower. All right, so we're gonna need some more more wood. And I would love to find some iron to go make a bed. But we'll have to do some more mining. Um, we'll make a bridge across this chasm, I think. Well, if we're digging down right here, looks like we can probably come out and have a little side walkway out that direction. So we'll try that. But in the meantime, let's go get some wood. First, before we do that, I'm going to need at least a stone axe. And if we have two sticks left, and we'll go ahead and take care of this real quick. And hopefully that will do me at least to get started. All right, now we're going to go over um, not too sorely tempted. Let's see how this is. Oh, good, some sugar cane. Make sure there's nobody lurking down a hill already. And I'm leaving, leaving it so it'll, it'll self-grow. In fact, we'll just go ahead and start our own little sugar cane field here for a little bit. Come back and get that in a little bit. All right, let's see if I can find a smaller of these beautiful big trees. We'll use one of it because that'll give us a lot of what we need. I thought I heard a skeleton. It was so quick, I didn't quite catch it. I was busy trying to figure out where I was going to go to. How to find wood. That looks like it's just more new sunflowers. Okay, that's nice. Um, it's more of the same. What do we have? Oh, yeah, it's all kind of a cut up dark forest. Well, let's see where. Oh, hey, Bunny Rabbit. Didn't bring any carrots this time. Okay. Alright. There's some options down there. We'll go for that guy right there. And. We have to pick up some food, so let's. Thank you, pig. 
Sorry, but I must eat. I want to take out all of you guys. I want to get at least this stuff started. Yeah, that would be a good start. I could go for the bunny rabbit, but I don't need the rabbit's foot yet. So I think we'll let him survive. Um, oh. and let's see. Let's just go ahead and do this one before I lose the sun. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started and take this tree out. One problem with all the bunny rabbits and everything is just make me think of creepers when they're running around. Makes me nervous. All right. So we're going to hop in and do that. The other thing that uh, the other command I want to show you today, when I get back to the our little mining area is uh, the command to lock your chests. Um, on the server you can lock your chests so that nobody else uh, can get into them or you can lock them so that only you and the person you want to get into can get into them. So it makes your stuff a little bit more safe. Uh, we've got a pretty good crew, pretty good, pretty good crew, excuse me, I'm not speaking very well. Uh, so it's not very often that somebody takes stuff, but you know, it's always nice to be able to lock your stuff just in case, and sometimes especially, uh, you know, there's always a desire to kind of, oh, I heard a little bunny jumped. Oh, looks like he's okay. All right. Um, so we'll take a look at that command. You can also use it for doors, so we'll go ahead and use it for the door that we put up. All right, let's see. Almost. Make sure nobody's coming up on our backs. Alright, we've got two of those. Hopefully we'll get some more out of this and we'll replant this guy. And let's just take a look around here. Let's I'm gonna go ahead and take out the you guy who fell. Oh well, hope you're okay, little guy. Let's go ahead and take this guy. I didn't bring my didn't bring my saplings for this. Let's use this. This doesn't have any durability up to worry about. find out what I've got that set. Excellent. All right. Good. Lots of them. Like that. Now, you notice I'm taking out all the wood, including with this big guy down here. And that's because floating trees just don't look very good in Minecraft. I don't like them. They're against the rules anyway, so if you've read the rules, which I know you have if you're signing up for the server, uh, they just we don't want to leave trees floating out in space. UFO trees, whatever you want to call them. Just not the favorite. All right. Well, haven't got as much done as I expected to, so I think we'll. But we're running out of time here. We've got to kind of start wrapping things up here pretty quickly. Uh, at least we got to some of the first commands we want to talk about. I saw. There you go. Just need. There we go. There's the last one. I knew it would be there someplace. Um, and I can move this way. This can't quite reach anyway. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it, replant this. Um, so we're gonna run back over to our place. We've got we've got enough wood to last us for a little bit and get us going on this and give us a ladder. Hopefully, we'll find some iron pretty quickly so we can have a water elevator um, going pretty quickly. Oops. Okay, it's gonna be one of those days where I just can't seem to get my fingers to work the way I want them to. There we go. Now we're making better time up here, and it's just coming to sunset. I do love Minecraft sunsets, especially in these snowy biomes. They're really quite beautiful. Same thing with, with uh, dawns. They're playing with certain mod packs that have things like tea and whatnot. And I just uh, It's just nice to be able to have, sit on a porch and watch the sunset at sunrise. All right, let me show you the command to lock your door. Uh, there's several of them, but you can, the simplest one is just lock. It tells me to go ahead and left click the block I want to lock it with and there it says right now it's locked so I can also check it by doing C info slash C info if I punch it it tells me that um, oh I with the new doors I'm not sure it always works let's see oh nope there's the owner I just don't have a big enough chat window I've shrunk it down so it doesn't take it to this room so I'm it's the I'm the owner, and there it is. 
Now I can also do, uh, oops, if I can spell it properly, I can do C modify, little girl seven, that's my son's name. And then if I check the, oops, should already be there, but that's right. And then I can check the information again. And if I scroll up, I'm still the owner. You can see down there, and then scroll down. And it also now, uh, the access control list includes my son, Little Barrow 7, so he can get in the door. But nobody else should be able to open that door without breaking it down. In fact, I'm not even sure they're able to, to open it without. Uh, I don't think they can break it down. Excuse me, I see that. The exact same thing works here. And you can also make it all in one uh, fell swoop. Do it all in one, so if you know if you want to add somebody else, uh, you should be able to do just add in the name. And you can see it says right down there, if you can read that, it says registered rights for the player Little Barrow 7 as well. So now my son and I can both get into that um, chest without any problem. Uh, you can do the same thing for these furnaces. Right now I don't feel the need to. Um, you know, you're kind of protected, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let me go in here and we'll just make a whole bunch of ladders because we're going to need them. I need a lot more than that, I think, when we come right down to it. But we'll start off with this. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, yeah, we're going to need a whole heck of a lot more. So let's just go ahead and make them. And then we'll uh, we'll call it quits for this episode. Oops. What am I doing? I'm not clicking well. All right, now we're back. So we'll that should that'll get me at least um, yeah, a little over halfway down so that, that's good we'll worry about that as we hopefully we'll find some iron and some good places to stop but we're still up here at 87 um, oops, there we go and uh, we need a whole lot more to make it down the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and keep mining we'll come back and in the next episode hopefully we'll have at least um, maybe we'll stop and start mining down around 30 just looking for you know, if there's a cave or something, something interesting, get some iron going if we can, and then we'll drop down. You know, see there's a cave around here someplace. Uh, we'll drop down even farther than that if we can. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for episode two. Thanks for coming back. We're going to hopefully once we get this mine going, it'll be a little less uh, of just the mining pieces. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and try to cut through the mine as far as I can to before I start the next one. So thank you for listening. We'll catch you again on the flip side.